What happens when the sun goes wild? Have you ever wondered what kind of trouble solar storm can cause on Earth or what impact they have on the climate? Well, I am with Nicole Wilmer from Observatoire de Paris. She works on solar storms and she will tell us all about them. So what are solar storms? What are we talking about exactly? Generally speaking, solar storms refer to all forms of solar activity, solar flares, the ejection of mass from the sun, that we call coral mass ejection, the solar wind, as well as solar energetic particles. These uh, different forms of solar activity are caused by the solar magnetic field. They can last for minutes or days. Why do flares and coronal mass ejections happen? Uh, the flares and coronal mass ejections occur because of the release of magnetic energy which is stored in the solar atmosphere. However, there are many mechanisms involved in the release of the energy, and these mechanisms are not fully understood. So this is why they are still the topic of active research. So what are the different effects on our planet? In fact, the Earth's magnetic field protects us against the worst solar storm effects. However, the impact of coronal mass ejection on our magnetic shield can induce sometimes powerful magnetic storms on Earth, which can endanger infrastructure such as uh, electric, electric power grids. The impact of solar storms can also extend to aircraft, which when they are flying at high altitudes, and they use uh, computer navigation and electronic systems. These effects are caused in fact by the very energetic particles that can penetrate the Earth's atmosphere and reach the surface of the Earth. But these effects are only short-term no's, so how can they influence the climate on our planet? Yes, you're right, which has discussed short-term effects. However, some of these effects, even if they are happening on short time scales, could have long-term consequences. For example, the coronal mass ejections, which perturb the magnetic field in the Earth's environment, can influence the upper atmosphere in many different ways. This can affect the global electric circuit, which could, in turn, has an influence on clouds and climate. This connection is, uh, however, still poorly understood, but uh, this is uh, why it should be, uh, uh, the, the research on this topic should be further developed in the future. Thank you very much, Nicole. Thank you, it was a pleasure.